Hi, Scott here again in the kitchen. Today we're making a bread and butter bacon and egg pie. Uh, basically it's like little um, bread cases that you might have seen or made in little muffin tins. This one's actually made as a whole pie. And this is a, a recipe from a friend of mine who's no longer with us, Marilyn Pagan, and she used to make this as one of her dishes at some of the cooking classes we used to run at South and Polytechnic. So I'll get straight into it. In my actual tray, I've just pulled out of the oven, I've actually pre-baked the base. So I've just greased the base of the, the tin, either with some butter or with some cooking spray, cut the crusts off some toast bread, and then laid them in the bottom, and then just brushed a wee bit of beaten egg at the joint, so to join it. So we've now got our basically our crusty, crispy bread base to form our, our pie. So on top of that, we're going to place um, some diced um, bacon. And again, with a lot of these recipes that I'm doing, um, depending on your own taste, you know, if you've got some leftover um, chicken, then why not use some, some chicken? Or if you've got some ham, um, even silver side will be fine. Um, just really, you could change this around to suit. But um, with the bacon, of course, it carries through that bacon and egg pie um, theme. So spread that diced bacon around. We've then got some diced red peppers. Of course, red peppers are good because they're going to add some color, but green would be fine um, as well. We're then going to deal with some um, spring onions. We want to take the ends off and just chop back um, the tops. And then we need to give them a wee bit of a wash if they're dirty or also strip back any of those outside leaves, which may seem to be um, not looking very good. And then using a sharp knife, we want to cut those into nice thin pieces. I just chop them on a the slight angle of course the spring onions are going to add that little onion tone to the dish and also some um, colour. So spread those spring onions around. Then also a wee bit of chopped parsley. Goes on top. And then we want to put some tomato slices on top of that. These little blue Vitronox serrated knives are really good to have in the kitchen. Great for this sort of thing. So you want to layer the tomatoes on top. And then in my bowl, this is the egg I used earlier on, just to seal those edges when I baked it in the oven for a few minutes. It's three whole eggs and two egg whites. And we pour that over the top. And that's going to go into a 180 degree oven and cook for around about 30 minutes. So here's one that I've had um, finishing off in the oven. So you can either use the squares of bread as your guide for cutting it into portions, or you can cut it um, whichever way you like. So you just want to gently ease these out. There you have a really cool looking bread case bacon egg pie with the red peppers. So give that one a try. I'm Scott in the kitchen and I'll see you next time.